Hello everyone, it's Grandma Mouse here. So I'm just going to read you another story. And again, it's from this book, The Stories Jesus Told. And this story is called The Good Stranger. Here is a man. He's going on a long journey. He packs some sandwiches and a flask of tea and then he climbs onto his donkey. Giddy up! <laughs> that's a nice one of his. He's got some jam sandwiches and that's him climbing on top of his donkey. He's in a very good mood. Soon he has left the town behind him. The sun is hot and the long climb up into the hills makes his donkey puff. <laughs> there. He's leaving the town behind and he's climbing up that hill on the donkey. I don't know if you've climbed up a hill for a long time, but you're really out of breath when you get to the top. I know when we've gone into the woods here, there's that big hill with the steps and we climb right up to the top. And there's a bench at the top if you need to rest. The path winds between high rocks. It's a dark place full of shadows. I don't like it here, says the man. He has a funny feeling that someone is watching him. There's him with a funny feeling. Can you see anybody watching him? I can see. I'll hold it here for a minute. See if you can see anybody watching him. Sometimes God gives us funny feelings and it's kind of just to help us, just to be uh, aware. Suddenly there is a shout. Robbers, three of them. They steal his donkey and all his belongings. They whack him on the head with his own stick. That's not very nice at all. They are bad guys. Poor man, he's left lying in the path. His head is bleeding and he cannot move his legs. He lies there for a long time. Then he finally falls asleep. Poor fellow. He doesn't look very, very well there. See the bad guys are going off with his donkey and all of his stuff. They're bad guys. After a while, someone comes along the path. He's wearing fine clothes, a bishop. He stops and then hurries past, pretending not to see. Perhaps he's late for an important business. Perhaps he is afraid. There's the man lying there, still not well. He still can't get up. But there's that man in his posh clothes, walking straight past. He's got his eyes closed. He doesn't want to see. The man wakes up and starts to call for help. Ah, here comes someone, a man in a wig, a judge. Help, help. But the judge pretends not to hear and he hurries past, just like the bishop. See, the man is there trying to call for help. And there's the judge. He's also got his eyes closed, but he's walking past because he can't. Well, he's pretending, really. He's pretending not to hear. The sun rises high in the sky. The man is hot. His throat is dry. He's thirsty, you see. But here comes more footsteps. Who is it? Oh no, it's a stranger from a foreign country. He has no friends here. Why should he stop to help? The man's still there. He's looking a bit worried and worn down and he's very thirsty by this stage. Here comes the man from another land. He looks a bit different. But the stranger does stop. He speaks kindly to the man in foreign words and helps him to drink some water. He washes his wounds 
and carefully puts a bandage round his head. Isn't that nice? There he is, he's helping the man, and even the donkey's being friendly. The stranger helps the man up onto his donkey. He puts his arm round him to stop him from falling off and gently leads him down the path. Well, that's really kind, isn't it? Look, he's helping him. He's having to walk, you see. The stranger was on the donkey before, but now he's having to walk. At the next town, the stranger finds an inn. He puts the man to bed and pays the innkeeper. Look after him, he says, until I get back. There's the man, all comfortable, in bed, with his bandage round his head. And there's the kind stranger. And he's giving the innkeeper, this man, some money so that he can take care of the man, the wounded man. That is so kind. Jesus said, which one was like a good neighbour? The bishop? The judge? Or the stranger? Here they all are. So you can remind yourself, this is the bishop, this is the judge, and this is the stranger. Which one do you think was the kind one? Well, Jesus tells you the answer here. I think it's obvious. But Jesus said, there was once a man who was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when robbers attacked him, stripped him and beat him up, leaving him half dead. It so happened that a priest was going down that road, but when he saw the man, he walked on by, on the other side. In the same way, a Levite, who's the priest, also came along, went over and looked at the man, and then walked on by on the other side. But a Samaritan who was travelling that way came upon the man, and when he saw him, his heart was filled with pity. He went over to him, poured oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own animal and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Take care of him, he told the innkeeper, and when I come back this way, I will pay you whatever else you spend on him. And Jesus concluded, in your opinion, which one of these three acted like a neighbour towards the man attacked by robbers? The teacher of the law answered him, the one who was kind to him. Jesus said, you go then and do the same. That comes from the Bible, Luke 10 verses 30 to 37. It's a good story. And Jesus says to us, We've got to go and do the same. That means to be kind to strangers, to be kind to other people who need our help. Don't be like everybody else who just walks past. Be the kind person. And uh, always ask mum and dad before you help somebody, but just make sure you're kind to people. And it could be just waving or smiling, but just be kind. You be the person that's just kind. So that's the story today. So I'm just going to sign off now and have a good sleep tonight and I'll see you soon.